So welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, guys, I'm going to do my spoiler-filled reaction for Troll Drama Island 2024. So let's go look at my predictions first. I want to see how this ages, and then we'll talk about the season itself. So at 60th place, I had Z. Yeah, that was a pretty bad prediction. I mean, he still made the merge, so that's that's pretty crazy. And yeah, Scary Girl 15th. Yeah, I knew Scary Girl wouldn't do so well this season. I was wrong. She was actually the first boot, and yeah. Millie, yes, I did have Millie to do bad this season. I don't remember the exact placement for her, but I know she went on the team merge. That's probably a right, 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 right though, Millie. Wayne, yeah, I messed up with Wayne. Obviously, he's won the season. Uh, Damien, yeah, I messed up with that one. Um, uh, that Raj, yeah, I messed up with that one. Damien and Raj both made the merge. Emma, I was right with her getting the pre-merge, and oh, I was actually wrong with him. Um. Uh, Making the he made he made the merge, but like you know, just about he basically scraped through eleventh place, and it was also very interesting. Basically, I believe how many characters made the merge? I believe it was eleven characters that made the merge out of sixteen, which is pretty weird. It's a pretty big size. And it was Axel. She didn't make the merge. So I was right with that. MK, yes, I believe she did get seventh. Priya sixth. Yeah, I was close. She ended up getting fourth. Uh, Julia fifth. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Fifth. Um. And the fourth chase, I don't know how I had Chase making this far. That was a brick prediction. That was a garbage prediction. I feel ashamed of that prediction. Third, Caleb. I was right with Caleb. He did make the final three. Mich Nichelle. Oh, my God, Nichelle. That was a garbage prediction. She went out free merge. And Ripper, yeah. Um, Yeah, that was a horrendous prediction. Honestly, yeah, I mean, Ripper didn't make the merge, so I guess I'll give you that. But flops, Bowie, yeah, Bowie flopped the season. Uh, well, I, I wouldn't really say Bowie flopped that badly because, you know, he still made the merge. But, yeah, he still was underwhelming. Challenges, wins. Who, got, who won the most challenges? I believe that was Julia again. I mean, I, I, it's probably Julia. An antagonist, I thought it would be Caleb. Caleb wasn't really an antagonist. He was more of the protagonist. So, let's talk about the season, guys. So, let me actually get the elimination order right here. Let me get from the Toy Journal wiki page um, so I can talk you through how I feel. Where is the Toy Journal Island? Let me pull that up here. Pull that up. So you guys should be able to see on my screen. Okay, so here's the Toy Drama uh, uh, Wikipedia thing. So as you can see, these are the characters that didn't make the merge. So let's just talk about them real quickly, and then we'll talk about the characters that did make the merge. So Scary Girl, like I said, I'm not too fussed up with her making the merge. She wasn't good enough. I had high hopes for her, and I think she could have made a character that could have been utilized better, but realistically, she just isn't, it just isn't made. You know, it's just one of those characters that I just didn't really think. Like, I feel like they could have done something special with her if they had used her correctly, but what she was like, missed potential, let's put it this way. And I'm going to do a characters video, guys. I'm going to probably drop that sometime this weekend. Maybe not tomorrow instantly, since I have to take some time to think about this. Uh, but definitely this weekend. I'll definitely draw up this weekend. And then next week, I'll be doing my season rankings video. Um, Chase, I'm sorry. Chase is, yeah, Chase didn't deserve to make the merge. So I agree with that. Millie, yeah, she did a good the first season. So I'm okay with her not making the merge. Emma, I'm okay with her not making the merge. She had her se first season to shine. And Nichelle, yeah, Nichelle should have made the merge. Nichelle should have made the merge. Like, this was the see. I, I am so angered with Nichelle's elimination because her elimination was so stupid. She basically quit. She basically quit. It's so stupid. Now we go into the merge phase. Um, Bowie, yeah, Bowie, I love it. This is probably fair. I would keep it around. I think Axel and Ripper, I would probably agree. They were basically coupled this season, which was very interesting when they were basically friends the first season. And yeah. Um, Z, I'm sorry. I don't know how Z made the merge. Z should not have made the merge, guys. I don't know how Z keeps making the merge. Um, and so, yeah, Z 8th. MK. I think MK had a good season, so I'm okay with MK 7th. Damien 6th is probably fair. I think Damien had a decent season this season. Raj 5th. Uh, not really too thrilled with Raj, honestly. I'm not really... I'm not really... The Hockey Bros just doesn't really... I don't know. I, I just don't really enjoy them as much as most people. Three of four, that's probably the highest you can make without making the final. So that's probably fair. And then obviously Caleb and Julia tied for second. Um, and then Wayne won. So, yeah, I mean, I will say that I feel like this season, um, for me, my biggest gripes with this season is the fact that this season, the antagonist is the same. 
the Julia is pretty much the same antagonist from last season. And that's what kind of makes me a bit frustrating. That I don't mind who is the antagonist, but she was basically the main antagonist of both seasons. It was just more like she was basically more overshadowed by Bowie in the first season. And basically in the second season, she basically went to the final and lost the final. And by the way, guys, the final should have been Kayla versus Julia. That should have been the final. I'm sorry. Wayne does not deserve to make the final. I'm sorry. I don't care what anyone says in the comments below. I don't know what Wayne has done to get this far. Sure, I know he's a nice guy and everything, but I don't know how he made it this far. And that's what I also didn't like. I couldn't obviously that and say that in my spoiler review, but I didn't like the winner for this season. Because I felt like this final for me is just Wayne is I don't know what Wayne serves. Like Wayne just for me just doesn't make sense to make the final. Like I, I don't I'm sorry. Wayne shouldn't have made the final. And even him making the finals is a disgrace. But the fact that he won it is even more disgraceful. I'm sorry. I don't agree with Wayne as a winner. I think Wayne as a winner is stupid. I'm sorry. I just don't see the value Wayne brings in this. Like, I just don't see it, man. I'm sorry. I, ju I just don't. For me, Julia versus Caleb would have been the perfect final. And I think that would have been the best final we could have got for it. And it's just a shame because Julia deserves to win it. Like, Julia's the only character. Maybe you could argue Caleb. I'll kind of give Caleb to some extent, but. Really, Julia deserved to win it. There was no other character that deserved to win it more than Julia. Julia really deserved to win this season. And it's a shame that she basically got basically robbed because of Wayne somehow fluking the win. You know, so, yeah, man, I'm just not too happy with the winner choice. I'm not really too happy. I'm, ha I'm, I'm okay with the final. I think the final three was kind of a cool addition, but I still would have kept it to two people. I still think three people is kind of weird. And, yeah, so... Um, I, like I said, man, my I just thought it was very dumb. Um, and let's see what else. Priya and Caleb are now in a couple, which I thought was kind of interesting, I suppose. But I feel like Priya kind of basically stayed in the game because of Caleb, essentially. Like, Priya shouldn't have made it this far. I, uh, Priya, Priya is a character that shouldn't have made it this far. She basically made it this far because of a romance plot with um Caleb, essentially. So, yeah. And this show, man, this show was so missed potential. Guys, this show, this show would have been amazing. Like, I feel like she could have been the only one that could have antagonized Julia. But instead, she fell for Julia's basic trick. Guys, that would have been awesome, though. That would have been amazing if this show made it far. Because this show, I feel like, could have been a character that could have made it far. You know, I'm trying to think of anybody else. Not really. Like, this is what the Final Four should have been, guys. It should have been this show. It should have been Caleb. And it should have been Julia. Because Caleb was like pretty much the main protagonist this season. So I, I understand why Caleb made the Final Four. And maybe this time have Damien. Damien, I think, would have been cool. Because I actually think Damien this season was decent. I actually didn't mind Damien this season. Damien, I thought, was decent. Um, or maybe you could put Wayne, one of Wayne or Raj um, in the Final Four. Like, maybe do like where like Caleb, Julia, Wayne, or Damien. Maybe more so... I, I prefer Damien over Wayne because at least Damien is, I, 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 for me, Damien, I think is more, I feel like he puts more effort than Wayne. Um, and I feel like he's smarter than Wayne, in my opinion, uh, than maybe having a show, you know? So, I don't know, man. I just thought it was very stupid and everything. And I, I don't know, man. I, I, I just wasn't too thrilled with that. But for the most part, I'm fairly satisfied with the elimination order. I do agree with most people where they place, like, I think um, most elimination I could agree with, but there was some order I would maybe change a bit. But yeah, so it's interesting. Enough. But also another thing is that why are why are so many people making the merge? That's also another weird thing. Like, it shouldn't just be to eight. I feel like if you keep the merge like to eleven people and have five people go out, I I don't know. I just don't think it hits the same. Like I'm sure I understand they try to make it more exciting the merge phase, but. I don't know, man. I'm just not. I, I don't know how I feel about that. I think that's a bit weird to say. But yeah, like I said, guys, I will be doing um a characters review where I'm gonna discuss more about the characters themselves, go into more detail. I just don't wanna make this video too long for you guys, so I wanna keep this around like ten minutes ish, you know, for you guys and everything. So let me know in the ch comments below, guys, how you guys feel about this season. Because overall, like I said, I did enjoy the season, but I didn't enjoy the season as much as I thought I would. So. That's pretty much that. So, I hope you guys enjoy this review. Remember, guys, to like and subscribe. And stay tuned, guys. I'll be doing my character's review, which I'll go into detail and do spoiler, man. The character rankings video is going to be spicy for this edition. I'm 
very much looking forward to that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Remember guys to like and subscribe. And remember guys to also comment in the comment section below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.